Hey everyone, if you've watched my channel, then you've probably seen that I've got several videos uh, showing how to rebuild magnetos or overhaul carburetors. And I really like posting those types of videos, those instructional type videos to help people out when they get into a bind. Um, this video is something that I've wanted to post for a long time, and it should hopefully will help you um, identify which carburetors and which magnetos um, are interchangeable on your tractors and even which ones originally came on your tractors. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here on my bench, I've got a carburetor. This is a DLTX model 72. This fits on a model A tractor. But I know um, from having worked on these a bit that a DLTX model 53 carburetor will also fit on a model A. And so will a DLTX model 71. Um, the same is true with a Model B. Here I have a DLTX Model 67, a DLTX Model 73, and a DLTX Model 34 are also all Model B uh, carburetors, and they're all interchangeable. The same is true with magnetos. Here I have a Wyco Model C magneto, but then there's also a Wyco Model X magneto. They're both a flange mount style magneto, meaning they mount using this, um, there's this ring that kind of centers the magneto and it mounts directly to the, uh, to the tractor using this flange style mounting system. If you look here, this is a Delco Remy distributor that also uses the same, same style of flange mount system. So you can have a Delco Remy distributor on your letter tractor. Some, uh, before we had these flange mounts, then we had what's called a base mount. So we have a base mount magneto with four bolts that come through a base plate and mount it directly to the tractor there. And then you have a drive system, very different. Now keep in mind, this is obviously to an international, as you can see here, but a, I wanted to highlight and just show you the difference between a base mount and a flange mount magneto. As well, aside from just Wyco, Wyco brand magnetos, we also have other manufacturers. We have Edison Splitdorf. So this is a four cylinder magneto that's off of an Alice Chalmers. However, Edison Splitdorf also made um, a two cylinder, uh, two cylinder style magneto that's an RM type, R model LA. Um, if you go back and look at some of those videos, you might be able to see the, uh, the, the, uh, the Edison Splitdorf RM magneto that's on that. I really like these magnetos, they're well made. The disadvantage is they're very hard to find parts for. You also have Fairbanks Moors that was uh they were making magnetos um, as well. So really you've got a lot of options out there when it comes to which carburetor you're gonna put on your tractor and which magneto you're gonna put on your tractor. And that's really actually quite beneficial because um, that interchangeability is nice, but it can also be kind of confusing. So for that, I have a manual, a couple of manuals over here that I want to show you that help explain what is going on. Let me show you. So here I have a copy of Service Manual 2000, SM2000, which is put out by John Deere, and it is a, a service manual covering all of the carburetors and fuel systems on your tractors, your letter series tractors. And here at the back of this manual, if you look here, you have a carburetor identification chart. It's really helpful that you can look up your serial number. For example, my model AN has serial is serial number 617, uh, excuse me, 617175. Looking that up, I can see that my tractor originally came with the DLTX model 71 or a 72 tractor. And I'll put a video or a screenshot of this um, chart at the end of this video that you can use as a reference. As well, for our electrical systems, we have another service manual. Down here we have service manual 2029. It's a, quite a large manual, but it goes through theory of operation of all of your electrical systems. But once again, you go to the back of that and you have a couple of tables. Here's a table talking about the distributors, all of the different distributors. That distributor I showed you over there is a model 111158. And you can see that that came on A tractors and G tractors. And so you can tell, well, if I want to convert my tractor from a magneto, from a Wyco Model C magneto, 
uh, to a distributor, what distributor do I need? Well, I can look here and I can see, well, this, this uh, 111158, excuse me, 558 will work. You flip the page, same thing, same type of detail with magnetos. You can look down through here and you can see, okay, well, for Wyco C, my tractor I know was a six, uh, what was it, a six, serial number was 617. Um, for serial 617, did mine come with a Wyco type C magneto or did it come with a, uh, a, a, a Model X? Well, looking here, you can see, okay, well, Model A's, nope, they stopped using type C magnetos after after the serial number right here, 598518. So if I flip to the next page, I can see, okay, well, here's type X magneto. And sure enough, for Model A tractors, there's the range of, of usage. So hopefully you found this video useful and um, it may not have been the most interesting video, but I wanted to give some of this information and um, make it available to people that may be trying to find this out. Um, like I said, I'll put those screenshots of those two uh, charts here at the end of this video and uh, feel free to pause and reference those as many times as you like. Um, I promise next week's video will be more interesting and exciting than this week's video, but uh, hopefully you found this useful. Thanks so much, guys.